Hey guys, my name is Chitanesh Noya and today we're gonna review the first light ROM version 5.5. And today I decided to do something different so today I will be talking about my experiences with the ROM and I've been using this ROM for three days and I can surely say that the ROM is really really snappy than before and the ROM doesn't heat as well the phone doesn't heat it gives a pretty good battery life as well so the first thing I want to talk about is that uh, when you are listening to music there's a very attractive music lock screen in the phone in this ROM and I would highly just suggest this uh, dark UI mod it looks amazing and the only problem with this mod is that uh, it is just for the status bar and nothing else gets uh, dark in color and it also has a secure lock feature which I will show later on in the video and it also has the Samsung Notes application built into this uh, ROM so that's really nice and so the main problem with this ROM for me was that the alarm app just crashes the clock app crashes when I set the alarm or when the alarm sounds it just crashes and doesn't uh, sounds the alarm so let me give you a quick demonstration about that and if I set an alarm for 1.13 so I've set up the alarm for 11.14 now and you will see that the alarm or the clock app crashes and that's a big problem. App just crashed and the problem with that is when the phone is the phone is at uh, sleep mode the app crashes and the phone doesn't vibrates and that's a big problem and I also installed the stylish keyboard mod and I would not suggest that because the keyboard doesn't look that nice as you can see the keyboard is not that nice as of the stock version and though there was another problem when you arrange the apps A to Z the phone starts lagging and as you can see it starts lagging and it also takes some time when you press the recent apps key so and in this ROM the option key works as in recent apps key and that is really not an issue it's just a reminder for you guys and let me show you the secure lock so we're just gonna go in lock screen and security and I think you need to have a password for it to work so I'm just gonna put in one password let's put in pattern and let's try this one one two three four one two three four so there's the secure lock screen setting and as you can see you have uh, make pattern visible lock automatically uh, lock instantly with power key you have smart lock as well so let's try to put in the password and you have these options the on body detection if the if your phone is with you the password needs not to be inserted and you also have trusted places you have trusted devices and trusted voice as well so you can set up a voice recognition as well so Let's get into the edge screen which is a really awesome feature of this ROM and the edge screen works flawlessly and it is amazing but some of the feature still doesn't work like uh, I think they cannot be supported by this device frankly and and you know edge lighting cannot work in this phone but uh, night log used to work before in some of the ROMs so that could work and you also have the ultra power saving mode which is amazing you can save a lot of battery and in emergency times it comes in very handy and as you can see that it is showing 20 hours and 40 minutes in the ultra power saving mode right now and that is amazing and you also have the directional lock which is in the accessibilities 
so let's get into it and let's try the directional lock so So this is directional lock so I will put in the directions I put in earlier. And the device unlocks. And I think that is pretty much with this ROM. I think this might be my favorite ROM of all time. It, re it is really snappy and it is much faster than before and gives up and gives a pretty good battery life and I would highly recommend it for the people who want to use a custom ROM for their daily drivers and thanks for watching guys